Hey guys, DTX here. We're gonna be watching Mr. Sakurai's Terry Go Terry Bogart. It's hard for me to say Terry Bogart. I keep saying Terry Gogart. <clears throat> Terry Bogart's character presentation, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Falls of Nintendo Switch, obviously. Um, this direct is a long. It's not even really a direct. It's just a Sakurai presentation, but this is a long video. 48 minutes, 51 um, and it's, it's longer than all the other character presentations, and the last one, Hero had, like, like, friggin' 30 special moves on his down B, and he, and Sakurai still didn't take this long, so I'm really curious as to what's gonna be used for this amount of time, I hope, hopefully it's something cool, um, yeah, let's get right into it, let's go. Hi, Mr. Sakurai. This is Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. The Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game was recently honored with five awards at this year's Japan Oh, game. wow. It's received a great many awards on top of that as well. Nice. Each award is very meaningful to me, so I would like to take... I hope so, Sakurai. You're a hard-working man. ...to all those who have voted and to all those who have supported us. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Daddy Sakurai. Without further ado, let's begin the presentation. Yes. First, we'll start with what the Neo Geo What is, is the Neo Geo? It refers to a 1990 video game console for use in arcades and at home, as well as to the name of the system itself. In Thank you for teaching me, Sakurai, because I... Super I, NES had only just released in Japan, so if you wanted to play arcade games at home... I don't know much about the Neo Geo. Was to play the less polished ports on the Nintendo Entertainment I also don't system. want to be rude and talk However, over Sakurai. the Neo Geo system... You could play the arcade versions of games at home with no drop in quality. 1990 was right around the year that I started working for a game company. Back then, Japan had rental services for arcade games. Okay. In other words, you could go to a rental store, rent an arcade game, take it home, and play it. Neat. After that, they were sold for home use, but a single game would cost about 30,000 yen. How much is that in US dollars? That's expensive. But if you think about it, compared to playing a game in the arcade 300 times at 100 yen per play, you're getting your money's worth. Okay. At the time, some people actually thought this was cheap. I mean, there really are people who've played games in the Super Smash Bros. series 1,000 or even 10,000 times. Anyway, the MBS, as it was called then, was sold in various places, and for an arcade machine, it wasn't Sorry, all Sorry, I'm going to move the camera real quick a little bit. Move it a little closer to me. Alright, there we go. You could also get them on lease. Oh, neat. Okay. That's why you'd end up seeing lots of candy stores having a metal slug cabinet. The home version of the Neo Geo came with this controller. Can you see? It has four buttons. And this is the actual console itself. I want to get a Neo Geo. And here you slot in the big game cartridge. I don't have one of those. This is the Neo Geo? Just kidding. Oh, wow. The hell, sucker? Actually, this is the Neo Geo X, the portable version that was released afterward. <laughs> you could also insert it into this docking station. Well, God, come on. Don't do this to me, video. Play it as a home console. Okay, a little bit of a drop in quality, but we're, we're going to deal with it. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. I think I fixed it. It has four buttons. And this is the actual console itself. Here is the reset button, and here you slot in the big game cartridges. This is the Neo Geo? Just kidding. Actually, this is the Neo Geo X, the portable version that was released afterward. You could also insert it into this docking station and play it as a home console. Beat Nintendo Switch to it. A portable, multi-purpose console. Updated iterations of past systems are emblematic of the Neo Geo. Next, let's talk about what Fatal Fury is. Yeah. It released in 1991, the same year as Street Fighter 2. No. Nice. But this one came later. Street Fighter 2 came first. It launched after Street Fighter 2. 
Like many of the other fighters, Fatal Fury was often regarded as a title that was developed to capitalize on the popularity of Street Fighter 2, but that's not really the case. Actually, both Street Fighter 2 and Fatal Fury were developed using the original Street Fighter as a foundation. In fact, the development of Fatal Fury was started by one of the planners of Street Fighter. Yeah, you can tell they're very, like, similar. Did I just hear you say, wow? Yeah. This one is also yeah, a multiplayer-focused fighting game. In this story, someone named Jeff Bogard is killed Fatal by East Howard. Fury. East Howard starts up a fighting tournament in Southtown, which he runs. To avenge his father's death, Terry enters the tournament, which is known as King of Fighters. I mentioned the term King of Fighters, something you may have heard before. Yes, there's actually a popular series called The King of Fighters, and that series was named after the fighting tournament within the world of Fatal Fury. Oh, okay. Sakura's teaching us all right now. And Terry Bogard, who is the protagonist of Fatal Fury, also appears in all the games in the King of Fighters series as one of the main characters. Nice. If you want to play a game from either of the Fatal Fury series or the King of Fighters series, many of them are available now on Nintendo Switch as part of the Arcade Archive series. You may not know which one to play first, but my recommendation from the Fatal Fury series would be Fatal Fury Special. From the King of Fighters series, my recommendation would be the King of Fighters 95. But if you want to play a fighting game with all sorts of strategic elements, then I recommend the King of Fighters 98. Neat. Thanks for your recommendation, yes, Sakurai. Some insight on Terry Bogart. Actually, this video was recorded about one month prior to its release. Okay. That's because we need to translate and edit videos like this mm -hmm. one, and that takes time. Yeah. The game footage you see here is not from the final production ROM, so please understand that there may be some elements that differ from the final game. Since we have the opportunity, I want to talk about Terry using a lot of SNK lingo, meaning in this discussion, the younger generations may feel a little out of the loop. <laughs> I'm probably going to be out of the loop because I don't know about. anything about SNK. When we released very... the original Nintendo 64 version of Super Smash Bros., I was often asked, who is Samus? Whether or not the character is fun to play as is more important than whether the character is new or old, or whether the character is recognizable to everyone. I want to make sure I present Terry to you in such a way that you can fully understand his appeal. So thank you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's Teach begin. me Terry, Sakurai. It's part of Challenger Pack 4! Terry Bogart joins the battle! This is like Terry my announcer voice. Super Smash Brothers it's amazing. Brothers. He's still wearing an outfit that reflects the era of his original game, but we did our best to make him look cool in a variety he of ways. He looks cool. When he stands next to you, it almost makes you wonder, is this really a Super Smash Brothers game? Doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Just like you, when you're playing one-on-one, -on -one, he'll face the opponent. Mm. Actually, he always looks in the opponent's direction. Even if you move him to a location behind the opponent, he'll quickly turn oh, so he's always similar to Ryu. On the opponent. Yeah. Okay. Similar to Ryu and Ken in that regard. His neutral attacks are jab, body blow, and high kick. Okay. Each move is something familiar from the Fatal Fury series. And his dash is Power Charge. Power Charge. This is a move you can use in real bout Fatal Fury Special and others. In the original series, it was one of his special moves. His tilt attacks are Middle Kick, Rising Upper, and Under Kick. Okay. Compared to Ryu, his attack speed is slower. This is to match his original series. Slower, okay. Now for smash attacks. First up, backspin kick. Backspin kick. This smash attack is the equivalent to his strong attack, but the motion is even cooler than in his original series. Nice. Next, wild upper and slide kick. Both are from the original series. Then his midair moves. Jump, then chop. Jump, then kick. Jump, then backward kick. Pretty simple. Pretty and then simple. Somersault, somersault kick. However, this somersault kick was not included in the original series. But we needed a move to attack up. Okay. So we created that move looks moves. cool. I like a sucker. Also, jump <clears> and then karate punch for a down air attack. Oh, nice. 
If you successfully pull off a down air, it's possible to attack with a meteor oh, cool. as you can see here. It's basically like Ryu's. Next, I'll cover his throws. His forward throw is his familiar buster throw. His back throw is also buster throw. And his down throw is neck breaker drop. Neck breaker. In fact, he used it in the game Fatal Fury, Wild Ambition. I miss playing that game on Hyper Neo Geo 64. <laughs> and then, his up throw is grasping upper. This sort of dodge attack can be performed after a spot dodge. I mentioned dodge attack. And this actually does exist. During a spot dodge, immediately press the button to counter attack. Oh, neat. During a dodge attack, your upper body becomes invincible, so this kind of move gives you the advantage when you counter attack. Oh, cool. Now for special attacks. His neutral special with just the B button is power. Power move! Depending on how long you press the button, you'll use one of two types of special attacks weak and strong. Weak and strong, okay. This one is weak and kind of slow, and this one is strong. Fast, isn't it? For Ryu, in his original game, you used three buttons, so there were weak, medium, and strong attacks. For Terry Bogard, you could use four buttons in his original game, but there were only two buttons for punch, so that's why he only has two attack levels, weak and strong. This rule applies to all of his special attacks, so please keep that in mind. Okay. By the way, the attack power wave is a move that shoots energy along the ground, but how does it look in the air? In his original game, you couldn't use this move in the air. This is how it looks now. As of the King of Fighters 96, the power wave ability had a shorter range, so we recreated that version of the move. It's a useful move in midair and helps keep opponents in check. That's cool. Next, we have a special performed while holding in the direction of your opponent, Burning Knuckle. Burning Knuckle. This move also has a weak and strong version, as well as a command input. Command input. Like the Hadouken command input from Street Fighter 2, you perform this command using the directional inputs, down to the side in the direction well, of your opponent, easy. and then press the button. Doing so makes the move a bit stronger. Okay. It's cool they added command this input. This means that Burning Knuckle has four variations. Four. Weak without command input. Okay. And strong without command input. Weak with command input. <laughs> and they're strong. And strong. With That's interesting. Input. The strong version using the command input is of course the most powerful. You'll hear a noise when you input the command. And if you've succeeded, you might also notice some green mixed in with the flames. Okay. It may be slight, but there is a difference. Cool. The strong version with the command input really is strong, even capable of KOing opponents. Nice. It can be blocked, however, so be on the lookout for that. In such a case, you'll be left wide open. And this is a first for the Super Smash Bros. series, but the side specials are split into two versions, a back special and a front what? special. That means there's one more side special than usual. What? Crack shoot. This is a familiar move from his original game. They gave Terry four special moves? Command input version. That's crazy! It's performed by using the directional buttons down to the back, followed by the A or B button. Okay. The command version can launch your opponent quite a bit further. Shh. Crack shoot! Wow! It creates a bit of an arc, so it can be used as an anti air attack when you're Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> I hit something on my desk. I apologize for that. It's hard to be counterattacked because you'll pass through them. Interesting. There's something I want you to remember. When you do a crack shoot off screen, this is how it will look. Terry swings with his whole body when using burning knuckle and crack shoot, so it can be hard to recover. However, if you keep pressing backwards without inputting commands, you should be able to initiate crack shoot in the direction you're trying to recover. Let me show you one more time. Do this, then continue to press backward. And then you can recover. If you press too quickly or input some commands, you'll fly right off the stage, so be careful. Neat. 
And this is his up special, Rising Tackle. Rising Tackle, yep. It also has weak and strong versions, each with differing heights. And did you notice that if you hold down briefly to charge, your whole body glows a little? In this case, your whole body will be invincible at the start. Either way, your legs will be invincible. Here's an example of this invincibility in action. <laughs> With the standard rising tackle, I got completely wiped out when I threw myself at them. Yeah. But with Rising Tackle's Charge Command version, you can't be hit at this moment, Neat. so you come out on top. You can of course use Rising Tackle as a recovery as well. Even after using Burning Knuckle or Crack Shoot, you can still use Rising Tackle. Okay. This is also very helpful when you're trying to recover, so please keep that in mind. His down special is Power Dunk. An attack that rises and descends. Power Dunk. This side, down, diagonally, down command input is also known as the Shoryuken command. If you can pull it off, you'll be invincible at the start of the move. Also, you can hear a sound when it connects, but it might be tough to make out. Now, let's talk about canceling specials. I'd really like you to keep this in mind. Canceling specials? First, if you use a special after attacking with a standard attack, the special won't come out until the move animation has finished. <coughs> Excuse me. That makes sense, right? Yeah. But here's what happens if you cancel out of it. At this moment here, if you've successfully entered a special command input, the rest of the animation will be cancelled, allowing you to attack again immediately. Neat. I'll do that again. Throw out a kick like normal. And once your leg extends, you'll perform the move. Interesting. <laughs> I say interesting as I yawn. <laughs> Sorry, this so video came out attack, really, you can really, go really into the special. This will increase your offensive options. Please try this out. Talk about this beautiful example, stage here, Sakurai. Right? Neutral attack, one, two, and power. This is a bread and butter combo. Aside from that, you can also get Terry to fly out and attack in an M shape. In his original game, you could only cancel attacks on the ground, but in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it's possible to cancel aerial moves. Weird. The types of aerial attacks that you can cancel are limited to things like neutral air attacks or down air attacks. But I think it would be wise to use these combos to expand your offensive options. And at last, the final smash. His final smash begins with Triple Geyser. Triple Geyser! Terry will shoot three geysers straight forward. Hell yeah. That's crazy. However, if you think that's all, you're very mistaken. Oh! Fuck. Oh! Oh man! As you can see, if Triple Geyser connects, You'll follow up with Power Dunk and Buster Wolf. It's three moves in That's one. That's cool. It's a visually striking combo. Yeah, it is. That looks freaking dope. You may be wondering what happened to his original super special moves. Yes, they're here too. With the usual rules, when Terry's damage meter rises up to 100% or higher, and in stamina mode, when his overall HP drops to 30% or less, you'll see this Go icon at the bottom yeah. of the screen. At this point, if you enter the specific command, Whoa! you can initiate the power geyser you see here. The command input is, if I borrow the way it's said in the original game, down, angle down, side, angle down, forward. That's kind of hard. Well, it's a bit complicated. Yeah. Downward, then backward, then forward. Typical. Okay. 
It is an action game after all, so you get to control the direction of your punch, be it right or left. In that case, no matter which direction you're going for, just swap the right input and left input. Yeah. It's like this. Downward, then backward, then forward. Or down, and then the opposite direction, if that's forward. And then, there's his other super special move. Another one? He said, are you okay? Buster Wolf. You can initiate this one by repeating the Hadouken command input twice. Oh, okay, that's easier. Down to side, then down to side again. Buster Wolf, that's cool. It can be rather difficult to pull off moves using the original game's command inputs, but you can also use simplified command inputs. In the case of Power Geyser, remember this, down, side, down, forward. As long as you input the command downward to the side, to the back, downward again, and then forward, you should be fine. In the case of Buster Wolf, it's simply down, side, down, side. That should be easier to remember. Even though the it's command cool. is complex, it can still be blocked with ease. I really like how Sakurai Since has these given... moves can only be used when Terry has taken a lot of damage, you'll be in even more danger if your opponent blocks. Oh, okay. So they're high risk and high return. Yeah, high risk, high reward. Please yep. save them for when you really need to make a last ditch effort. You can use it again and again, but be careful. Your opponent may be able to predict your move and take action. I really like how Sakurai, for every one of the Fighter Pass characters, has given them like their own unique, like, like, what do you call it? A gimmick. Like Joker has the freaking Persona Gauge, uh, the Rebellion Gauge, Rebellion Gauge as it's called. Freaking uh, Hero has the down special that can be like 30 freaking different things. Banjo and Kazooie have the Wonder Wing that's like invincible, like a move that's invincible. And then, and then he has this go thing after a certain percent where he can do freaking super super moves. And he has a back, like, uh, he has four special moves. Most characters only have three. He has four. That's insane. Terry looks really cool like I want to play as him. Essentially, it's best to use it when it's least expected. Yeah. Or to cancel out of a combo. Like this. Moves. Oh wow, look at... When I get a KO, there's like fireworks and stuff. For the taunts, I decided I didn't even to match know. If that happened game. before, I did his not see it. I was hey, come on, come on. From the King of Fighters yeah, come on. series. His down taunt spins his hat like in the real bout series. Cool. And his side taunt is stand up from Gutto, Mark of the Wolves. <laughs> That's what I always do <laughs> in the beginning of my videos. That's pretty funny. Stand! Like that. We've incorporated both his longer remarks, like Power Wave, from older titles, and his shorter remarks, like Rock You, from newer titles. Cool. And here are his color variations. Oh wow, those are some cool colors. There's a good variety of colors available from across the series. And the cat design is slightly different from each Oh version. look, that one says Neo Geo on They're based on his original game. What does those ones say? Can you read that? Some from the King of Fighters 14 and the anime series. Oh, okay. Anime series of King of Fighters 14. Okay. <laughs> he sometimes takes off his cap too. For example, it happens during his victory pose. His cap also blows away when he is defeated in stamina mode. Neat. It's like a small touch. <laughs> the stage is called King of Fighters Stage. Oh, wow! All those characters in the back! It looks like one hardcore fighting coliseum. Yes, it does. It's really cool. The text above the Jumbotron reads, King of Fighters, mm -hmm. without the. When we talk about a game title, we need the up front, but the name of the tournament in the game story is just King of Fighters. This is a very unique stage, and it follows some rules that haven't existed in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Before. Really? First, the edge is walled off. Walled off? In the Super Smash Bros. series, you need to launch opponents off the stage. Yeah. Here, however, the more damage a fighter has accumulated, the more the wall will visually... Oh wow, the, the wall like it. broke! Can you see? Yeah. Eventually... Oh, will break right that is really cool. 
I like how he it's like fireworks in the back. breaks through the glass. That is freaking cool. Basically, this special feature allows you to KO an opponent only after they've accumulated. Man, damage. that's pretty cool. That way, you can enjoy the battle more like you would in a traditional fighting yeah, game. That's neat. When you're close to the wall, it's possible to be KO'd even when your damage is low. It's just like in regular stages. In the real bout Fatal Fury series, there was a feature in which the walls could be destroyed and players could suffer a ring out when they hit the wall. So it's similar to this that. isn't exactly yeah. the same, but we made it kind of similar. Yeah, to I that. see. We hope you'll enjoy playing at this That's stage. That's pretty cool. With all its it's a pretty cool rules. stage, Sakurai. It is really nice looking. Woo! Are you okay? I know a lot of people want that way, in the game. There are guest characters in the background, right? Yeah. Since we have the opportunity, I'd like to introduce them. Me. To you. Show me who these people are. Cameos. First up, Andy Bogard. Andy Bogard. He's the adoptive brother of Terry Bogard. Hmm. Both of them were adopted from an orphanage and raised by Jeff Bogart. However, while Terry's teacher was Jeff Bogart, Andy studied under Mai Shiranui's father. He uses the Kopoken fighting style. Joe Higashi. He's one of the three main characters from earlier games in the Fatal Fury series. Cool. He's the only one that doesn't have any connection to Geese Howard. He's a Muay Thai champion. Kung Fu Ru. He's the master of the Holy Fist of Eight Ways, and he also trained Jeff Bogart. He can enlarge his body as well. Billy Kane. He's been in many Fatal Fury games Billy since Kane. the first one. And he's the right-hand man of Geese Ooh. Howard. Right While he appears in the first game, his costume is based on his appearances in King of Fighters 97 onwards. You can't really see his back, but the no-smoking symbol is definitely there. <laughs> There's Geese. Geese. Howard. He's the big boss of Southtown, and he's the rival of Terry Bogart. Falling off of buildings is his thing. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Rock Howard. Rock Howard, his yeah! Everybody loves Scott Rock Howard. Howard. So I've heard. I don't know. He's like. the son of Geese Howard, and Terry actually raised him. <clears throat> that means his appearance in this game at this age with that look doesn't really jive with the timeline, but Smash is kind of like that to begin with, right? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. He uses Taekwondo and considers himself a fighter for justice. Fighter for justice. His whole Okeku is very so he's a Power Ranger. Oh my gosh, what is that? Yamazaki. His Turn first off appearance phone. was in Fatal Fury 3, and he's Sorry about a criminal that. known as Dark Broker. He's very selfish and Dark sadistic. Broker. Blue Mary. Ooh. Her first appearance was in Fatal Fury she's 3. She's cute. Too. She uses Combat Sambo, and she's a good drinking buddy of Terry. A good drinking buddy. Those were the characters from the Fatal Fury series, but from here on, let me introduce characters from other series. Oh, they're, you're gonna... Athena Asana. Oh, yeah. She's a Psycho Soldier. Psycho Soldier is a memorable game released around 1986, yeah. and it was the first title to feature a fully voiced theme song within the game. This epic song was also remixed for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and it was recorded in both Japanese and English. Music start. Kyok Sanagi. He's the protagonist of the King of Fighters series, and he uses the ancient martial arts Sanagiryu. Speaking of the protagonist, there are differences depending on which version you're talking about, like Orochi and Nest. Anyway, he is forever a school kid. We're getting SNK. Yagami. Originally, he was introduced as Kyo Sanagi's cool. rival, but when I first saw this character in the game at the time, due to his look and attitude, I thought, whoever created this character must be a genius. <laughs> Goro cool. Daimon. He's a it's judo like gold medalist Ryu. belonging to the Japanese team, and he likes I'm getting to an SNK the character lesson here, guys. Chang Whoa. and Choi Bonge. One is an escaped convict, and the other is a slasher. That dude is totally they are Freddy Krueger. Undergoing rehabilitation under the previously mentioned Kim Kapwan. That dude is totally based off of Freddy Krueger. Ralph Jones and Clark. <laughs> Originally, they were main characters in the Ikari Warriors series before Neo Geo. They appeared as guests in the Metal Slug series, too. Mm -hmm. Yo Sakazaki, the protagonist of Art of Fighting. The original Art of Fighting was released just before Fatal Fury 2. That means it was the first game to implement a true super special move. How could I not include him? <laughs> Sakurai is like geeking out. Her first appearance was in Art of King. Fighting, and she's a bouncer and bodyguard. She is a beautiful woman with an androgynous sense of style. 
Next, Yuri Sakazaki. She was kidnapped in the first Art of Fighting game, but after that, she's trained hard and mastered Kyokugen Karate in just one year. In other words, she's a genius. So, as you can see, we've included many characters. A total of 20 characters. You know, it's very cumbersome. I mean, it takes a lot of time. But so many people love each and every one of these characters. You're killing yourself outside here. Outside the confines of their individual series. <laughs> Sakurai. So we simply had to do our best. Thank you so much, Sakurai. That's like super cool. By the way, you may have noticed that a very important character from the Fatal Fury series was not yeah. included. Yes. My yeah. Yeah, where is she? Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is for good boys and girls of many different ages. <laughs> so we decided not to feature Aww. them. Please forgive us. Also, my music features a variety of tracks, and the music that plays affects which special Good guests. boys and girls sucker, I said he's like you perverts. For example, because she's very seductive there's looking. There's a track called Pasta, and when the music is playing, Andy Bogart will always appear. It's pretty funny. I hope you look forward to that as well. Let's see him in action. Okay, I'm done providing information, so now let's jump into some actual battles. Okay. Show some battles, Sakurai. This time, I'm going to play the Terry route of Classic okay. Mode. On top of that, I want to try and hit the highest intensity level. Let's see if I can get all the way up to intensity 9.9. .9. Alright, Sakurai. Honestly, playing the game in extreme difficulty while doing commentary is extremely hard. One or the other is doable, but doing both at once forces me to divide my attention. But that means I should do my best at both. I'll do my best. First, this route is named the King of Smash. Three characters who have some sort of connection will appear as a set. A challenge that looks somehow familiar. Yeah, it's similar to Fatal Fury with the three-person okay, so tag first team. The intensity level is 5.0, so I should be fine. All battles in Terry's route are stamina battles. This stage is special KO rule that I talked about earlier isn't the best match for stamina rules, but oh well. Okay. On his route, a lot of stages feel like they're from a traditional fighting game. Okay, I did it anyway. Of course, even in this mode, it's not impossible for me to try for a KO, but normally it'll be over before that. There. Damn, destroy Rosalina and Luma right there. Looks like he's saying, give me something. Give me something. Next, round two. Give me. It's the Legend of Zelda team. Just because characters are in a team because of their similarities, that doesn't mean that they have to be from the same game. Yeah. This is Let's Go to Seoul, Kim Kapwan's theme. And I've got it set up so that we don't move from the bottom of Prison Tower. Really? It would be easiest to simply knock him off the screen, but I'm not going to do that, because it's not as fun to watch. Oops, I knocked him off. Over here. <laughs> come on, come on. It's gonna blow. Will he do it? He missed his opportunity. Come on, Link's at 3%. There you go. Alright. The boomerang's not coming back. And I can't go to the edge. Oh no! The tables have turned. <laughs> Careful, Sakurai! Yeah! Cancelled it. Now you can call this the giant stage. Oh, okay. All the giants are lined up. Of course, the music track is Taku and Stephanie. Gotta fight the three freaking... Three monsters, three big bosses, three giants! But it seems like it means Tanaka and Kitamura. Bowser, DDD, and K. Rool. There's a giant wrestler named... Big Bear, and this is his track. Regardless of the track name, it's a really famous hard rock song, so please give it a listen. 
King of Fighters has really good music. I've been listening to some the of their music. Song was called SMK in general, not just King of There's Fighters. That wrestler. I'm a big fan of like big hard there, rock, rock music, identity. so whenever we get more of that in Smash Bros, it's really it's cool. So. Bam! Get K. Rool out of here. Jump. I'm beginning to find the intensity quite tough. Round four. The whole atmosphere is a little different than how it's been up until now, right? We've been to arena style flat stages, but suddenly we're at a battlefield form stage. Oh, there's an item. <clears throat> yeah, now you gotta start fighting Smash Bros style. There's I see what's going on here. Called Athena, and this stage uses that as a motif. Oh, he's metal. Yes, I know about Athena. Now that I'm thinking about it, I suppose both Lady Palutena and the Athena games were possibly an homage to the Athena of Greek mythology. Yeah, of course. Plus, I wanted to do something where two characters who are similar or have similar abilities are together. It's a nice Kokugenyu team. Good thing you got that jetpack there, Sakurai. If I let my guard down, I'll easily be defeated, so I need to pay attention. Sakurai, you are like kicking their butts right now. What do you mean? You are like wrecking them right now, Sakurai. By the way, you can use moves like Crack Shoot to aim for overhead platforms so they have some utility to them. Neat. I kept her in check. Phew, that was close. Looks like that fire bar didn't work out for her. Sakurai is so cool. He's such like a calm, nice dude. It's getting brutal. The intensity. Oh, there's a third party, guys. You could say the opposing team is comprised of heroes from different companies. Yeah. Sonic and Terry are on the stage. Actually, Sonic and Terry were both created in '91, so they're the same age. Me? Oh, don't. And the next year, in '92, Kirby was born. <laughs> Kirby was born. Everyone's getting old. <laughs> But they're still on active duty. Sakurai, you're not old. You know, it's easier to fight on sloped ground. <clears throat> when using crack shoot, it's especially easy going uphill. Yikes. It's too soon to be taking this much damage. I started out with 150 HP, so I feel like I'm losing. Next, Mega Man. He was born in 87. The first Street Fighter came out in 87 as well, so that makes Ryu the same age. Oh, Ryu and Mega Man are the same age. That's that's a good, uh, interesting fun fact. Don't go off the screen. Ah, he went off. I'm sorry. And now, Pac-Man from 1980 is here. Pac-Man. Of course, this character was made by Bandai Namco Studios, but when I talk to their team, I'll call him your company's character. They always come back saying, oh yeah, our company's character. <laughs> I often have these kinds of exchanges with them. Oh, that was close. But I won't give in until the very end. Careful, soccer, I don't die. Because I've got a super special. Yeah, use that super special. There you go. Get Pac-Man out of here. Not enough? Get Pac-Man out of here. Well, how about now? Buster Wolf! I believe that was Buster Wolf. I don't know. It's bad to keep using the same move, seriously. <laughs> Next, you could call this Team Darkness. Yeah, they are definitely Team Darkness. They're freaking scary mofos. Team Scary Mofos for the, the win. Soy sauce for geese. Playing on the rooftop. It's got the aura of a final Oh, uh, yeah, it does. You're right. It's like, it's like him fighting the, on top of the building. The oh, geese. not good. Up next is Ganondorf. I don't want to get hit by him. Not even once. He's huge. Nah, Ganondorf hurts. That'll hurt your stamina. You can't take things lightly in moments like this one. Sakurai is kicking ass, though. That was a bad move. Alright, can I do this without getting hit? Now for a scary one, Bayonetta. Yeah, scary one. Bayonetta is OP. See, even Sakurai knows yep. Bayonetta is OP. I'm giving this everything I've got. 
that was just dangerous. Pulling off that mid-air jump was risky. And Sakurai, why couldn't my Shiranui be in here? I think that's her name. Uh oh. Shiranui? Shit, shit, whatever. She's so good. Whatever, it's, whatever her that name is. <laughs> why couldn't my be in here if you have Bayonetta in here? Bayonetta is equally as erotic. But she couldn't take it well, back. Well, Maya's is, is, is anime back. girl erotic, so. She's more. More so. The heck am I even talking about? That's funny, that's not Grace. It's not Master Hand, but you can and then. Oh, wow. Art of Fighting version 2300000.0 is playing. In other words, it's kind of a themed fight. He's super strong, so I have to work hard. I'm not pacing this out very well. I'm starting from 150 HP, so I wish I defeated Ryu before my HP dropped to 100. But I can't give up until the end. I have a super special move. Super special move. But Terry is last, so he can use the same super special move. Sorry, I'm gonna come up in but your guys' face real quick. Chit -chat. It's really tough doing this while talking. Oh no! Ow. Okay. Yes. No, don't buffer. Don't do this. This is no good. Got it. Don't do this. Thank you. It gets even tougher from here. You gotta fight your own Terry. You gotta fight your doppelganger. I messed up a perfect shield. Here he comes. I gotta be on guard. There you go. Yeah, but with a power wave? <laughs> if I could have pulled off a super special move, that would have been awesome. <laughs> but, alright, did I make it to intensity 9.9? Yes, I did. That was hard work. Good job, Sakurai. Golf claps. Terry Bogard is really fun to play as, so I hope you enjoy playing as him in such a Yeah, situations. he looks really cool, Sakurai. I want to play him. Gonna let us have him today. Today! Next, let's talk about the music. This time, we have something very special lined up for you. SNK has good music. Let's see what you got. For instance, when we were deciding which songs to include in this set, we thought about concentrating on songs related to Terry. But there were a lot of big band style songs that didn't really fit the mood of battle. That aside, the music of SNK has always been great, right from mm -hmm. the beginning. So this time, we selected tracks that could be called SNK style. Basically, we expanded the selection a bit to include series outside of just Fatal Fury and The King of Fighters. Cool. SNK songs have always been great, really. This was true before Neo Geo, and all the way from the old The King of Fighters games to the arrangements in the latest installment, The King of Fighters 14. We did a lot of digging around, and finally managed to narrow our many candidates down to 50 songs. 50 songs?! We never intended to do something like this. Oh course. my so god! We submitted our 50 proposals to SNK, expecting them to pick out maybe 10 or 20 that they considered acceptable. But they told us they were okay. As a result, we've pretty much added in 50 songs. Oh my god! 50 songs? Are you freaking serious, Sakurai? Sakurai! That's how we ended up with the list. Star of equals new arrangement. Hard to deliver oh some of the best my gosh, music. Sakurai. This was a very special one off case, and I don't think we'll be able to do the same for other series. Sakurai. To be honest, I think that being able to hear such a selection might make the fighter's pass worth quite a bit more than its price. I do hope you Sakurai is like, I want you guys to pay more. <laughs> Challenger Pack 4 comes with a spirit board. Of course. Too. The spirit board can be selected via the spirit Let's see those spirits. It's probably of all those characters. Oh, hey, look! It's, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. It's the samurai dude. What's his name? I can't remember his name. What's his name? You can also look forward to mock tournaments featuring each of the characters. 
that old school Athena and Ralph and Clark artwork really and is Athena something. Athena and uh, Ralph Clark. Yeah. Now for the Me Fighters. Please have a look. Me Fighters are coming, yeah. You're gonna give us a crazy thing like you did with Sans? Bam! Showdown, Nakaruru. Art of fighting. Okay, there's Ryo Sakazaki. King of Fighters. Yep, yeah, there's that guy. I can't remember his name. I don't think. Aori Yagami. Aori Yagami. He is like angsty as hell. Virtual fighter. Oh yeah, didn't that one used to be in the last game? Was it? I feel like I've seen this Mikasa before. Yeah, yeah, I've seen these before. These were in the last Smash game, weren't they? Cool me costumes. Nice. Available November sixth. Is that when Terry's coming out? SNK was also involved with the Me Fighter set, system, uh, so it has a strong fighting game influence. It borrows a lot from the series Nakoru comes from, like her wind slash attack, so I hope you'll enjoy those little details. Cool. Moving on to Amiibo, here's the new lineup. <laughs> Simon, Krom, and Incineroar. Each of these will be released on Friday, November 15th. Friggin' 6.0 update. Next, let's discuss the details of the update. What's new, Sakurai? We've made some improvements to battle arenas. Battle arenas. First, we're making it so you can send messages to each other in a battle arena. Neat. The messages are preset. So there's that, and also, the player who created the arena can now change the rules. Okay. We've also added the option to play either battlefield form or omega form at random in the stage settings. Oh, okay. Aside from that, you can now pick Elite only as an arena type. Furthermore, Quick Play won't be the only way to play with people you don't know. As long as the arena type is set to public and no password is set, we've made it so anyone is now free to join. So I hope you'll enjoy that. Me. Terry is due for distribution on November 6th. If you have the Fighter's Pass, you'll be able to get him straight away, or you can purchase him separately. Cool. November 6th is today, isn't it? Well, I think that wraps it up for our Terry Bogard showcase. It's I hope November we're 6th. able to convey his appeal. By the way, his reveal trailer was aired in advance. It was created using SNK pixel art. Mm -hmm. The complete version of it, including the gameplay portion, is finally ready. I'd like to show it to you after this. Oh, cool. Yeah, please. Now, this is something of an inside story, but... I of course wrote the plot for SNK's pixel art pack reveal trailer. When the invitation comes out, you might recall how it says, Don't be late, S. That is not what I wrote. It makes me think, ugh, this is why I hate inside jokes. After leaving it to the staff, it snuck its way in there. <laughs> I just want you to know that the S is also the Super Smash Bros. series S. Well then, let's move on to the intro movie. Cool, it's like the official, the real trailer. You are cordially invited to smash. Don't be late, ass.
Monkeys. Hey, miss. I want to just see the gameplay portion because we know, we know about all this. We've seen this part. Really, right at the end of like the whole presentation, is gonna do that. All right, hey, thank you, Sakurai. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that's the end of it. Oh, Sakurai is gonna tell us thank you for watching. I think. Say bye to Sakurai. Or maybe not. I think this is the end here. We crammed in a little too much content this time. Hopefully, I'll be able to make future showcases a little shorter. <laughs> Thank you, Sakurai. Alright, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, let's have a little bit of a discussion. Uh, yeah, well, Terry looks really cool. Kind of complex in some ways, but also really cool. The stage is really unique. The breaking the barriers how you can't be KO'd off the side you know that's really cool well you can be KO'd off the side but you know there's the walls you know that's really it's really cool um I'm looking forward to it it said it releases today November 6th so let's see if uh we can play as Terry a little bit here later and I'll record a video of me myself and I playing Terry and hey Let's see if we could put in some of those crazy command inputs, do his crazy fourth special move, his super special moves when he gets to low percent with the little go icon. Everything is super solid. Let's see how it turns out on the battlefield. Thank you guys so much for watching.